Thank you, Professor Peter Semi. Good morning, dear students. Good to see you all here. Sanwadani, Nelam, Kuyamore. So, dear ladies and gentlemen, students, colleagues, it is indeed my pleasure to welcome you to UJ and to the Faculty of Education. So, my name is Manna Namanini Kazi. Nima Kulikili, a UJ, a Faculty of Education. Yebo! Ndiya Kuluma. Ni Kuluma Ganyani, Jeko Dwanya Tanda Kuluma is his name. Nina Shady, Nizola Lela. So, first of all, we are delighted that you have decided to study towards becoming a teacher. Teaching is not a glamorous occupation, and being a good teacher is very challenging. But despite the challenges, teaching is a most rewarding vocation. I should know. I was a school teacher for many years, and I'm still a teacher at heart. I recently had the privilege to attend a talk of the astronaut Terry Wirtz. Now, Terry Wiltz was involved in two space flights, a two-week mission on board the Space Shuttle Endeavour and a 200-day flight to the space station. His time in space included three spacewalks. Now imagine walking in space and looking down on the Earth. And he took beautiful pictures while he was uh, in space. I thoroughly enjoyed his talk. He's an excellent storyteller and a humble person. And he talked about his teachers. He said that whenever he has a chance, he goes back to his teachers to thank them. He said, when you teach kids, you never know what they'll become, but you will have an impact on their lives. And that is indeed the case. So I tweeted about what he said, and I was delighted when he liked my tweet. Now, I'm not easily starstruck, but in this case, I was. My husband was very amused about my excitement. Terry Wirtz liked my tweet. So, just briefly, this is the influence that teachers could have on young people's lives. Now, secondly, we are equally delighted that you chose UJ for your journey to becoming a teacher. And you have chosen wide, wisely. The UJ Faculty of Education is well known for the good quality of its teacher education programs. And please know that you are privileged to be here. We received many, many more applications than we could accommodate. And many students are still knocking on our door, begging for a space. And regrettably, we have to say no. Our programs filled up very quickly. So let me repeat, you are privileged to have been accepted to study with us. So please do not waste this wonderful opportunity that you have been afforded. It is our responsibility and our privilege to guide you on your journey, your academic journey for the next few years. We'll show you the way, and we will walk beside you. In other words, we'll guide you, but we cannot walk on your behalf, and we cannot carry you. You must take co-responsibility for your education journey. Attend classes, study consistently, ask for help when you struggle. Use the tutors who are available to you as well as all the other support systems here at UJ. And I sincerely hope that I'll see you walking the, the stage to graduate in four and a half years' time, time. But sadly, it probably won't be the case. 
that all of you will be graduating. But, dear ladies and gentlemen, all of you are here have, the, have met the entrance requirements. Thus, you all have the potential to succeed. So why do some students succeed and others not, despite the fact that the students have similar profiles? There's no easy answer to this question, but research conducted by Angela Duckworth sheds some light. According to her research, successful students have what she calls grit. Students with grit are significantly more likely to be successful. And talent or intelligence does not make you gritty. So what then are the characteristics of a gritty student? I will briefly discuss a few of the salient characteristics, namely courage, persistence, and resilience. And these characteristics are interrelated. Courage. Courage here refers to how you manage fear of failure. Do not allow failure or the fear of failure to hold you back. Gritty people know that they will experience failure. Failure is part of life. Gritty people understand that failure often holds valuable lessons. That is, if you are open to learning those lessons. So linked to courage is persistence, and persistence implies perseverance, determination, and diligence. Gritty people understand that achievement in life does not come easily. It requires perseverance and hard work. One of my favorite quotes is a quote from Den Donald Kendall. He says, the only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary. And that is indeed the case. Success requires hard work. Now, persistence often means taking small steps. The chief executive officer of Adobe Systems, John Warnock, says, one of the important things in life is to look down at your feet and take the next step and then the next step. Don't focus on things too far away, but make sure your direction is right and take one step at a time. One also needs to persist through failure. All successful people have many stories to tell about failure. Now, the creativity expert Roger van Oog says failure has a couple of benefits. First, if you fail, you learn what doesn't work. So, please don't repeat it again. And second, the failure give, gives you the opportunity to try another way, a new approach. Now, persistence through failure in, implies resilience. The ability to bounce back. Now, dear ladies and gentlemen, is this easy when one fails to bounce back? No. And when you get knocked down, how long do you stay down before you bounce back? My experience, and believe me, I have failed many times in my life, is take a little time to mope and feel a little sorry for yourself. That's fine. And then move on. The world champion rower Silken Lauman says, the critical point is getting up quickly every time we falter. Because the faster we get up, the faster we can try again. And the faster we're going to succeed eventually. So, our advice to you is, ni sebenze gase, ni funde gase, ni funde ni chabule. So our message to you is to work hard and to learn well, but also get joy from your studying. Dear students, work on your grit. One is not born with grit. You can develop it. Work on being courageous, study persistently, and when things are tough, take one step at a time with an eye towards the future to help you persevere. Please ask for help. And when you fall, get up. Dust yourself off 
and start again. And we are here to assist you in that process. So we, the management team of the faculty, the faculty administration, and the academics sitting here, your lecturers, look forward to support you and to guide you. We wish you all of the best. Welcome to the Faculty of Education.